Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a cable of condolences from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, following the demise of Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed deepest condolences to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace and to bless His Majesty King Hamid and the late Sheikh Isa bin Rashid's family with patience and fortitude. In a reply cable, His Majesty King Hamid expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace and to bless his family with patience. His Majesty King Hamid wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and a long life. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a cable of condolences from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, following the demise of Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. May Allah the Almighty rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a cable of condolences from the Kuwaiti Emir, His Highness Sheikh Suba Al Ahmed Al Sjaba Al Suba, following the demise of Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today paid a visit to the Majlis of the late Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King offered condolences to the brothers and sons of the late Sheikh Isa bin Rashid, lauding the deceased's distinguished qualities and contributions to serving the kingdom and praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. The brothers and sons of the late Sheikh Isa bin Rashid expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamid for his noble feelings wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. The Royal Court has mourned the demise of Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The Royal Court prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace and to give his family surface and fortitude. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, has issued a royal decree pardoning 901 inmates for humanitarian reasons in the backdrop of the current circumstances. Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa said that the Ministry has thoroughly studied the conditions of the reform and rehabilitation inmates who are serving the sentences, with a view to determining those who meet the objective and legal conditions. He said that the Ministry took into account in its study the abstract criteria to determine those who are entitled to amnesty for humanitarian reasons under the current circumstances. He pointed out that the thorough study also took into consideration the provisions of the law and principles of international human rights agreements, taking into account the fact that the inmates are young people and patients who need special care, as well as the extent of the commitment to the rehabilitation programmes which are organised by the Reform and Rehabilitation Authority. The Ministry of Interior announced that in the deportation provisions which were issued against foreigners whose remaining are being implemented so that they will serve the remaining prison sentences in their countries. The Ministry of Interior announced that the law on alternative penalties would be implemented on 585 inmates who served half their jail terms in compliance with the Royal Directives to competent authorities to expand the implementation of the law on non-custodial penalties. The Ministry said that the vested judge in charge of implementing verdicts issued an edict replacing the remaining jail term for the inmates and enrolling them in rehabilitation and training programmes and obli obligating them to other types of alternative penalties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain will always remain strong with its loyal people who brave challenges and set a role model for cooperation and dedication for their society and country. His Royal Highness paid tribute to the people of Bahrain, saying that every citizen is a soldier in the fight against the novel coronavirus COVID-19, which is spreading all over the world. He expressed confidence in the ability of the patriotic people to overcome the current critical period and challenges 
and write another page in the annals of success stories. The Prime Minister hailed the recovery of a number of citizens, extending full support to the dedicated Bahraini medical teams for their devotion and sacrifices, which earned them the praise of the countries and organisations. His Royal Highness paid tribute to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his dedicated efforts. He urged all people of Bahrain to join ranks and combat the virus, reassuring the public that the current health situation in the Kingdom is not a cause for concern, healing the professional medical efforts in combating COVID-19. His Royal Highness added that the government has taken all measures and precautions to ensure that none of its services are affected due to coronavirus at all levels adding that directives have been given to all government agencies to ensure that citizens and sectors are not affected. He extended thanks to all citizens who devoted their efforts to serve their affected people and take part in the nationwide campaign, citing ministries, government departments and individuals to ensure the safety of citizens and expatriates. His Royal Highness the Premier prayed to Al the Almighty to protect the Kingdom and its loyal people and preserve their homeland, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. As part of the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a joint meeting between the executive and legislative authorities was held to highlight the latest developments in preventing coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak and the Kingdom's precautionary measures. The steps taken to implement the vision and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to prioritise the interests and safety of citizens. All concerned authorities are dedicated to support the efforts of the national team to combat the coronavirus led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The efforts that contributed to control the virus and prevent its spread inside the Kingdom, along with the international recognition by the World Health Organization by considering Bahrain as a role model in dealing with the virus. The Executive Authority was represented in the meeting by the Interior Minister, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, Minister of Parliament Affairs, Ghanem bin Fadl Abu Enin, Minister of Health, Faika Al Saleh, and Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Al Ziani. The Interior Minister asserted that the meeting came as part of the directors of His Majesty the King to inform the Legislative Authority about the latest developments. He noted the instructions of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to hold the meeting to reveal the latest in general health situation. He added that Bahrain successfully deals with the situation and that it receives appreciation from all. The Interior Minister stated that the main challenges in the general health situation is when Iran concealed the virus outbreak at the beginning, violating the international laws and norms by not stamping the passports of Bahrainis while entering and leaving the country. He added that Iran, through such practice, allowed the transmission of the virus abroad, which is considered as an internationally prohibited biological aggression, as it risks the safety of all. The Interior Ministry asserted that the situation should not be politicised and sectarianism is not accepted. He added that the efforts of the citizens are required to fight the coronavirus and the situation should not turn into a security matter, and it is a health matter. He said the situation requires wisdom and the adoption of national values to tackle it through national responsibility. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the medical team and military, security and medical personnel for this sincere work. For his part, the Foreign Affairs Minister hailed the major efforts of the national team and the coordination with various ministries and concerned authorities based on a comprehensive national strategic plan to tackle the risks of the coronavirus. He added that the joint efforts, fast response and precautionary steps have contributed to preventing the spread of the infection. The Minister of Finance and National Economy highlighted the directive of His Majesty the King to promote cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. He stated that national efforts to fight the coronavirus outbreak started in early stages as part of the vision and directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He said that the success of the efforts was a result of the joint national work of all members of the team, the executive and legislative authorities, public and private organisations and the general public. The Minister of Health affirmed that Bahrainis valued their nation as volunteers and retired individuals went back to work, expressing pride in the medics who work around the clock as part of the national efforts. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism healed the wisdom of His Majesty the King, in which he always asserts the importance of food security in all situations. 
He also praised the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to coordinate with the concerned authorities to develop mechanisms to ensure the availability of food stocks that meet the demands. He asserted the importance of supervision in such situations, in which the Ministry carries inspection visits and takes serious steps against violators. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Aframahi, affirmed the Government of Bahrain, with all its institutions, is committed to the legislative authority and the people of Bahrain to provide all information and honesty and transparency in implementation of the Royal Directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister stressed that the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Aman bin Hamad Al Khalifa of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus at COVID-19, has set a global model in handling challenges which is witnessed by the international community. Arif Mehi commended the outstanding national efforts exerted by the government institutions to serve the citizens and residents to reduce the spread of the virus. He expressed appreciation and gratitude to the Legislative Authority, the BDF, the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and the Sini and Jafari Endowments for the efforts they exert for the safety of the homeland and citizens. The Minister called on citizens and residents to obtain news and information from its official media sources and not to be drawn behind rumours and inaccurate information that is circulated through social media. He commended the responsible national role played by the press and media institutions in the Kingdom through its various platforms to update citizens and residents based on its national responsibility to provide accurate and reliable information and to promote national unity and awareness of the challenges the world is facing. The Ministry of Health today announced that nine individuals have recovered from the coronavirus COVID-19 in the Kingdom of Bahrain, bringing the total number of confirmed recoveries to 44. The recovered individuals, one male and six female Bahrainis, one female from Egypt and one female from Thailand, have been discharged from the isolation centre after responding positively to medical care provided by a specialised medical team, conforming with measures outlined by the World Health Organisation, the WHO. The Ministry highlighted that all individuals have undergone extensive medical testing to ensure the full recovery from the virus before being discharged and will continue to be monitored post-discharge. The Ministry urged all individuals returning from Italy, South Korea, Egypt or Lebanon in the past two weeks to self-isolate for 14 days, avoid contact with others and schedule their mandatory medical examinations by contacting hotline number 444 or visiting the Ministry of Health's website. 